This is Pug with the uh, just unpacked uh, Phantom Full Throttle Supercharger hooked up on my bench, uh, giving it a whirl before I go and install everything. So this is not a supported method of testing the system out, but it works nonetheless. All the electrical wiring is done, uh, though not permanent with the dump battery pack, two uh, 12 volt batteries, and the starter battery pack. It's wired correctly with the big heavy gauge cable running to the controller and the controller pulling uh, voltage from the starter battery pack to recharge these. Obviously there's no alternator in this setup, but uh, I'm not going to run it for very long. So. That's all plugged in. The supercharger itself is connected with all of its wires and the uh, the controller cabling is also all set up. So right here is the voltmeter and the uh, throttle switch. If I flip this on it's going to make a cute little noise which you probably would never hear if you didn't do this on your bench. And uh, this fan is now spinning to cool off the uh, the controller here and uh, if I press the throttle switch this thing will spin and make quite a bit of noise so I'm going to move the camera over here and we'll, we'll just look inside the compressor wheel so it uh, it's impressive how much noise and how quickly that thing spins up it also kind of freaks me out but uh, I look forward to actually installing this thing tomorrow. And as you can note, uh, even without actually having an alternator, it recovers remarkably fast. Now hopefully my car will actually be able to start with this battery without having to recharge it after I've been playing with it. I imagine there will be no troubles.